تو کیا آپ نہیں سمجھتے کہ دوسری طرف وہ طالبان جو امریک پاکستان کے اندر جنگ کا ماحول پیدا کر رہے ہیں ان کو بھی کچھ چینج ہونے کی ضرورت ہے دیکھیں جو یہ آپ خبریں سنتے ہیں گلے کاٹنے اور یہ لڑکیوں کے سکول کو برباد کرنے پہ سب سے پہلے تو ہماری اپنی گورنمنٹ کا پروپیگینڈا ہے کیونکہ یہ بار بار لوگوں کو یہ بتاتے ہیں کہ یہ ہماری جنگ ہے یہ امریکہ کی جنگ نہیں ہم اپنی جنگ لڑ رہے ہیں اور یہ سب سے بڑا جھوٹ تو یہ ہے تو ایک تو یہ جھوٹ بولتے ہیں دوسرا پھر کہ یہ انتہا پسندوں کے خلاف لڑ رہے ہیں یہ طالبانائزیشن ہو جائے گی پاکستان میں لوگوں کو خوف دلواتے ہیں جس کی وجہ سے لوگ کنفیوز ہیں We've been reporting on the growth and rise of Taliban influence here inside Pakistan's borders. And their main stated aim, of course, is to impose Sharia law here inside Pakistan and redefining justice according to their own hard-line interpretation of the Quran. Sky's Alex Crawford, Asia correspondent, went to Bashar where she got exclusive footage from the Khyber Agency. That's one of the semi-autonomous tribal areas where the Taliban appears to be in control. And her report includes pictures of the moment before the death penalty is carried out. Taliban justice in today's Pakistan. The two blindfolded men have been found guilty of kidnapping and killing a taxi driver. They've been brought here by the armed guards of the Sharia court for their sentence to be carried out. And a crowd has gathered in excited anticipation. The victims' relatives have been given two options. They've been offered two million rupees as blood money, a veritable fortune to be paid by the men accused of murder. Or they can take the second option, revenge. The men are lined up against a wall. They know their fate by now, and they're silent. Two relatives of the man they've killed step forward and pull the triggers. They miss at first. It takes several seconds and their bodies are pumped full of bullets. The crowd's allowed to gather round to examine them. The public nature of this execution is meant to act as a deterrent. The ruling was handed out by this man, Mangal Bagh, the militant leader of the Taliban's Lashkar-e-Islam, a man the Pakistani authorities say they cannot find and who's in control of the Khyber Agency tribal area and the Sharia court running here. The Taliban are anxious to show us they're a force for good and allow our cameramen to exclusively film their court in action. These are the defendants, all Sikhs, and all accused of running drug cartels. The cases take minutes, as there's no defense. Under orders from Mangal Bagh, the rulings are handed out. Shut your business or you'll be flogged. And there are tougher sentences for other crimes. Anyone who commits murder will be shot on sight, the commander's deputy says. Whoever acts against Islamic laws will be strictly dealt with. Those laws here include insisting men have a beard, women being in purda, and stonings for adultery. And they want Sharia to spread across the whole country. Look at this stream of traffic coming in from the tribal areas, the semi-autonomous region which borders Afghanistan and where they believe many of the militants are hiding and running their operations from. Now there's a concern that more and more of them are making their way through this road and into central Pakistan. They bring with them their ambitions for Sharia law, and they're taking a hold, not least here at the Red Mosque in the capital Islamabad. But they know it's going to be a struggle. We want Sharia law to be imposed here, but you can only get it through violence and fighting, the mosque leader tells me. That's the only reason the government agreed in SWAT. The militants in the tribal areas certainly seem to have the weaponry to push through Sharia or whatever they choose and few have the strength or the inclination to challenge them. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Pakistan. Another fascinating report from our correspondents who've been uh, 
uh, working around Pakistan, bringing you just some of the developments here in this country at the moment as we look inside Pakistan. And you can see plenty more of their reports and the blogs they've written, uh, giving you more analysis and background on what they've discovered over the last couple of weeks in Pakistan, all on our website, skynews.com. And don't forget, also online, at noon today, GMT, you can all take part in an online debate with uh, me and Amar Rana, who's the director of the Pakistan Institute of Peace Studies. It's a great opportunity for you to put your questions about Pakistan and the issues that we've raised this week to a really good local expert here and hear what he's got to say. So do join us for Pakistan Unplugged Midday GMT coming up very shortly. More from Islamabad later. Right now, back to Dermot. تو کیا آپ نہیں سمجھتے کہ دوسری طرف وہ طالبان جو امریک پاکستان کے اندر جنگ کا ماحول پیدا کر رہے ہیں ان کو بھی کچھ چینج ہونے کی ضرورت ہے دیکھیں جو یہ آپ خبریں سنتے ہیں گلے کاٹنے اور یہ لڑکیوں کے اسکول کو برباد کرنے پہ سب سے پہلے تو ہماری اپنی گورنمنٹ کا پروپیگینڈا ہے کیونکہ یہ بار بار لوگوں کو یہ بتاتے ہیں کہ یہ ہماری جنگ ہے ये अमेरिका की जंग नहीं है हम अपनी जंग लड़ रहे हैं और ये सबसे बड़ा झूठ तो ये है तो एक तो ये झूठ बोलते हैं दूसरा फिर कि ये इंतहा पसंदों के खिलाफ लड़ रहे हैं ये तालिबानाइजेशन हो जाएगी पाकिस्तान में लोगों को खौफ दिलवाते हैं जिसकी वजह से लोग कंफ्यूज हैं 